Okay guys, we have Mike here today. Hi guys. Yep, Mike from DNA Tuning. The day he took the reading of my 640i and now we're gonna tune it. Alright, so again, what is he doing here? These are regulators to regulate the current because the car is switched off now and we need a power source to regulate the current so that during the recoding process uh, there will be no interference from any power fluctuations and all that and these are the stuffs that they're using to make sure everything is done safely yep so uh, Mike has tuned my, my Audi S4 and uh, it has turned the horsepower from 333 to 400 and uh, it's a lovely smooth drive now so he said that they have a new software now for the N55 engine actually most of the any of most of the BMWs or Mercedes Benzes or VWs Audis you name it they can tune it and uh, apparently he said that what is most significant one of it one of the most significant one in terms of NA engines is actually the Mazda engines uh, he's able to tune it so uh, regardless of what car you have just contact them on their Facebook DNA tuning Malaysia that's the logo all right and this year's enduro um, Mike is sponsoring three cars to win the stage one tuning from them which costs a couple of thousand ringgit actually so uh, that'll be nice so now they plug in the OBD port you have the computers there the, the programs are ready the codes are ready and later on they'll let it run let it come into the car and let it push more power and the thing that I'm not satisfied with this N55 engine setup uh, compared with the 8-speed ZF now this is the very first generation of BMW cars that uses the 8-speed ZF gearbox so it debuted with this car and the 7 series back in 2000 uh, the 7 series was in 2009 and then the 6 series in 2011 so both uses the ASP ZF which progressively made its way into every single BMW we have now and um, the early renditions of it right they were thinking that okay this is a 6 series so we should make the gearbox behave more sportier than the 7 series the result is none the sportier or the more jerkier in the 6 series so in the ASP ZF in the 6 series right uh, they have that characteristic intentionally did uh, slight jerkiness when you when you accelerate off the line to give you that sporty sensation whatever nonsense that is uh -huh. so uh, his programs not just not just programs the engine but also the gearbox like my Audi after the program after the DNA tuning my my transmission shifts super smoothly even under full acceleration so very happy with that work okay and here we have two Aston Martins where James Bond will rather die than be seen in one <laughs> James Bond will be like yes I'm the spy kill me now yeah yeah true Aston Martins all right no joke I mean this is as much as an Aston Martin as the new Supra is a Z4 okay basically uh, Toyota and Aston Martin collaborated and Aston Martin did the bodywork and all that and the interior work and um, yeah all right but, but no lah we saw the videos the Supra actually outperforms the Z4 even with less horsepower uh, it is faster in every measure it is better in every measure so Toyota did a lot more work on the Z4 than Aston Martin did to this Toyota IQ Mike is doing stuff that I don't understand because I don't study enough so these are all the high-tech stuff that only educated people would know now again <laughs> when, when you're doing tuning <laughs> when you're doing tunings when the programs are running right never never ever even think of opening the doors or touching anything that has to do with the car why remember we mentioned CAN bus all these modern cars right that has a very modern infotainment system right every single thing is connected to a central ECU which we call the CAN bus and we are literally programming that as well so so let's, let's not touch anything just don't right don't open the doors don't open the windows don't don't do anything to the car not even the fuel cap don't even open the fuel cap 
there are sensors everywhere so when when the thing is being run just let it be yeah we'll see the results later on good morning 7 a.m and uh again with our readers i mean we do drives every month okay so uh i'm arriving at the uh petronas station Oh, it's crowded up. <laughs> like whenever we call for drives, I'm like, oh, fuck, fuck, the people. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, we always meet up at uh, the, either this station or, of course, the other one. Uh, oh, fuck, there's diesel. Crap. Crap, crap. Oh, wrong direction. Ah, crap. I need some 97 uh. Alright uh, Wait to wait to Yep, we do drives every month And uh, this is About a week plus Before Enduro We came here for a shakedown <laughs> yep. Ooh, Easily 30 cars turned up Now to refuel Cheers Morning we're here at Petronas, uh, MRR2, that's Mike's Corrado, my car is over there, just refueled, that's the Golf GTI, <coughs> a lot of lovely readers coming out today, that's a Golf R over there, Passat, and look at Con's police car, look at his police car, that 86 over there, even Honda Jazzers, and we have quite a few minis today, look at that. Lovely two-door Mini, the lovely club man here, and check this out, that's the new Mini convertible. Very, very nice. <laughs> lovely car. Yeah, look at the little details. Look at that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the lovely M3. Another M3. All right. What a wonderful morning. Uh, guys, who's going Uluyam? <laughs> oh, they went ready, yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Those are for sightseeing, one, ah. right? <laughs> so, uh, anyone first time joining us, ah? Oh, oh, oh fuck, fuck. Hey, fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we will just head all the way up, and uh, uh, we have a professional driver there. Hey, Chick, why you look behind? You don't, you don't see by you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why, why we, why we don't go Uluyam is uh, this route to us is safer. So uh, okay lah, let's roll off, drive safe, and have fun. Anything else ah? You all know where we're heading, right? Oh, okay. Put Amber Court. Amber Court is the best. Okay, you are from oh, our Indonesian friend here. Flew in from Indonesia to join this drive. <laughs> uh, you didn't know, right? The best hotel of in Genting is called Amber Court. <laughs> you go Google all five star review. I tell you, <laughs> they say I made a lot of new friends here. <laughs> seven four, seven four. <laughs> seven four. <laughs> Amber Court. Got that? Amber Court. Uh. Okay, Amber Court. Uh, everybody, we go there. Uh, see, you got place to park right after that. We go breakfast, ah. Uh. All right, all right. Have a great morning. Let's go drive. What a lovely morning. Uh, all kinds of cars turn out, and um, Mini, very sneaky of you. Mini brought out the Mini Cabrio and joined our drive, like a surprise drive, and. Um, we have a Clubman, we have a two-door Mini, a Renault Megane, 86, Golf R's, Myvies, Jazzers, Polo Sedans, the lot. As long as you love driving, join our morning drives. Alright, anybody can join. It's nice. Alright. Uh, and if you drop the top, of course it's even nicer, alright? Lovely, lovely. Uh, Later, I'm going to mount the camera at the back, try something new. Alright? Cheers.
So after the tune, I brought the car up for a Genting run today. So initial feel of the car compared to my Audi tune wasn't so apparent. Um, the first thing it fixed is, of course, the throttle response is slightly better, but maybe the BMW gearbox characteristics are still like that. But I noticed the engine sounds more eager, as if the engine is like. I I, I have I keep hearing that 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 sound. Even I'm in comfort mode, it sounds as if I'm already in sport mode. So that is the biggest difference that I can hear. But when I push the car, when I put it in uh, sports transmission, and then I push it, oh, the power delivery. Just like my Audi, every single point, the car is pushing more power. And it happens in a very smooth, very linear ma manner. So, it feels great, it feels really nice, very eager to rev and of course it's faster. So this car originally produced 320 horsepower after the tune from Mike from DNA Tuning. It is now making 400 horsepower and uh, the torque is at 500 Newton meters as well. So very nice torque. So after the initial lag, like now I'm in comfort mode, after the initial lag, which is very slightly now, the way the engine pulls is nicer, more eager. I don't need to wait as long. So for those of you with a N55 engine, you can look for DNA tuning. I put a link down there. I like it. It's not, um, like, I, like I need to tell you again, it's not the type where they blast all the power out at the, at, at the front end of the ref range. It's not that type of tuning. So you have to understand that it is a progressive type and uh, very nice. All right? So we have a lovely drive this morning again. Uh, if you want to join our drives, it's very easy. Just um, always take note of our Facebook page, facebook.com slash horizon. And uh, that is where we announce our drives. Okay. And um, we have an official. You never would have guessed the view up here is so nice, right? So Amber caught there, they have a sign, the best view in Southeast Asia. <laughs> Still. Uh, so yeah, our investigation is done. Amber Court is no longer available for rent. You cannot rent it as a hotel anymore. It is a hostel now. So, Gunting, if it is a hostel, don't la, don't... I mean, just, why can't you just renovate or get, give it a repaint, right? Looks like crap now. Anyway, let's go eat.